Welcome to the Backyard Professor Responds videos. I just got back tonight from taking pictures of the night sky with my Sea Star S50 telescope. And this thing is absolutely blowing my mind. I, I am having so much fun with this. I can't hardly stand it. The results are, from my perspective, fantastically awesome. A lot of fun. So easy to operate, it's embarrassing. Uh, I took my Sea Star over to the local park where I walk the dog, right? St uh, pull the uh, tripod legs out, stick it on a picnic table. I was going to point it north off into Cassiopeia and Cepheus the King, there are some nebula and galaxies there I want to photograph so bad I can't see straight and the clouds come rolling in. So I looked again off to the south and southwest to Orion and I took a picture in the constellation of Orion. When I set this thing up, you turn it on, it'll calibrate horizontally takes it maybe what two minutes uh i've got it on my app on my phone i hit stargazing i see the buttons of features in the sky that the telescope can take pictures of tonight and i look up the horsehead nebula click the button then I hit the go to button. It takes it just another moment and bam, it starts taking pictures. Now I had a two and a half hour session tonight. Now it was very interesting early on. This kept rejecting one of the stacks because it kept seeing star trails or a satellite would go through. That toned down after about the first half hour. It probably rejected maybe 14, 15 of the pictures, 10 second pictures, 10 second exposures. So that six a minute times 60 minutes for one hour, 360 pictures. I do believe this thing stacked over 700 photographs tonight. Let me show this to you. I've never had so much fun in my life. This is really helping me appreciate the cosmos because as my camera was, my camera, my, yeah, my camera slash telescope, as it was taking this world famous horsehead nebula picture pictures. I was researching it. Now, when I showed my wife what I'd done tonight, she said, what's that little penis coming out of the cloud? <laughs> oh, oh, my. I, <laughs> I have to apologize to my wife for narking her out, but I <laughs> I, I laugh like crazy when I said, that is not a little penis. That's the horsehead nebula. And I had to turn it around to show it to her. <laughs> and she goes, oh, yeah, all right. I I can see how it looks like a horsehead. Kind of looks like the knight uh, of a chess piece, right? Now, I did put a small filter in my from my cap cut onto this this is the actual photograph that you turn it around you turn it around and there's the horse head nebula that's the picture i took tonight i'm thrilled with this picture the ionized hydrogen behind the nebula is the red and uh, this is part of the larger complex, uh, including the 
the uh, Orion Nebula that I took on Saturday night, that the horse head is part of this complex of pictures. But I did some research while I was uh, taking this picture. This thing is 1,375 light years away from us. Now, a light year is the distance light travels at 186,000 miles per second in one year, which is 6 trillion miles. 5.878 trillion. We round up to 6 trillion miles. And this is 1,375 light years away. Doing the math, this is 8 quadrillion miles away from us. That's an eight with 15 zeros behind it. And yet we are able with our telescopes to take this picture. That, that just blows my mind. That, that, that blows my mind. Now this is a dark nebula. And it's three to four light years big. Uh, 23 trillion miles across. Hard to fathom uh, being that big. Uh, 23 trillion. Yeah, there we go. You want to see the picture, not the ugly guy talking about it. To put this in proper perspective, which you can't comprehend it, a million Earths would stretch across this horse head. Just the horse head part, not the whole photograph, just that small horse head, the dark part. A million Earths. Now, to help us understand this even more, uh, our solar system is about 5.5 billion miles out to the orbit of Neptune, approximately. It would take tens of thousands of our solar systems to stretch across this horse head. Tens of thousands. And the real size comparison that just took my breath away. I, 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 it's beyond, I, there's nothing, you can't wrap your mind around this. 150,000 Milky Way galaxies, our entire galaxy, 150,000 of those side by side would stretch across this horse head. So, that is astonishing. Mind-boggling. And this is not one of the largest objects in our universe. In fact, it's rather a small object. Uh, this is three to four light years across. The Orion Nebula. Let me... Uh, let me grab the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is 21 light years across, five times larger than the horse head. That dark spot above that nebula there, that dark cloud next to that uh, white star with the small red circle above the entire nebula, above the white of that nebula, that would be about the size of the horse head. So this thing is much, much, much more enormous. And this is part of this whole complex in the Orion Nebula. Um, the, the horse head here, just up there, it's just off the screen. I didn't adjust the screen right. I apologize. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, that green spot up in the upper right 
is Alnitok. That is the easternmost star of the belt of Orion. So the horse head is just south of the Alnitok belt uh, of Orion. And this whole complex is well over a hundred light years. And this is where stars are being born by the billions. Uh, it, it's staggering. The, the enormity of the cosmos, the beauty of the cosmos, it, it's awe-inspiring. And I am so blessed to be able to capture it with my C-Star S50. Uh, we live in a fantastic age. The calculation based on the present movement of this horse head nebula, the gases and the, the cloud is obviously moving, of course. It's not just sitting still. Uh, within the next 5 million years or so, this thing will dissipate out. So hopefully there's some kind of a record from our era that can be preserved for those if we survive that long, millions of years in the future, they will be able to know that this is what we were seeing compared to what they see, which is going to be something entirely different. And it's the same thing with the Orion Nebula as well. So, But I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, my adventure into astrophotography is far more exhilarating than what I expected. Um, I, I am able to study astronomy while I'm photographing the cosmos. I'm able to research and read about uh, ionized hydrogen, the various different chemicals, the basis and how star formation works, the size and brilliance of the various stars and suns out there, some of them literally millions of times bigger than our sun, which again, just, I, I can't fathom it. it it's, it's grandeur in size. It's, it's astonishing beauty is beyond anything I've ever studied. And so I'm very thankful that I can share all of this with you guys. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button on my channel. There is going to be boatloads more of fun and very interesting information, as well as what I consider to be really exquisite photographs of the cosmos. And it's as easy to do as one, two, three. Yeah, I, I'm dazzled by the C Star S50. Thank you, ZWO, for inventing this amazing instrument of education that we can all now enjoy. So thanks for watching my Backyard Professor videos. I will be back with more just as soon as I can. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all your support and love. Stay tuned with me. Lots more coming out, including more stuff on aliens <laughs> and where they're from. <laughs>